hello guys welcome back to our channel i hope everyone is doing great so today as you know we are going to discuss about how to find the first repetitive and non-repetitive characters from a given string so let us quickly create the input for our string input equals let us take an e like hello world so if you take here if you look at the input h is the first non-repetitive character and l is the first repetitive character so using java head how can we achieve like how can we find the first repetitive and non-repetitive character is input dot adds dot map to object and inside the map to object layers we need to type this to care i and collect using Collectors dot grouping by inside grouping by what we need function dot identity comma link hash map that's new comma collectors dot condi so with this, okay, we need to import link dash map. So we will be getting a map. Map equal like let us take car count. C O U N T car count. So this would be of map. Character come on long. Let us import map. So here we will be having the character and the count of that character. Now from this we can determine which is the first repetitive character and which is the first non-repetitive character. How can we do that? So firstly what we need to do again we will use the white features here dot in preset dot stream dot filter and we'll pass our predicate to the filter what would be our predicate so our predicate would be something like this e, e dot get value equals one dot again map it to e dot e dot get key but find first this will return an optional of character so in the option of character what we can name it first non first non repeat let us take repeat okay so let us break this so this is how we will get our first non repetitive character and similarly the repetitive character it would be the same logic instead of one it would be greater than one optional first repeat here the logic would change that's it greater than one now how to print this see we how will printing this the first time I'll use if condition. So if repetitive character dot is present, then what I'll do? Sys out first non repetitive character dot get. And how will print the repetitive character like this? Repetitive character dot. So 
you can directly print click. This out. Fifty two characters. Not or else. No. So this is how. Now if you run this, you will be getting our desired output. See, H is the first non-repetitive. Okay, let us print. Uh, let us for our reference. Let us see. This is first. First repetitive character, and this is first repetitive character. Let's run it once again. <coughs> the first repetitive character, as non-repetitive character, is H, and first repetitive character is L. Now I'll tell you why we have used linked hash map. So. Basically, one of the difference between the normal hash map and linked hash map is this. Linked hash map stores the insertion value, insertion, insertion order. So that's the reason I have went for linked hash map. Or else, if, we, if at all we are using normal hash map here, normal, so the uh, the output won't, the, the, there won't be any guarantee. Like if at all I remove this and import hash map, you see the output was definitely changed. The first repetitive character is space. It is taking space as a first repetitive character, non repetitive, and repetitive it is giving the right count, but still uh, there is no guarantee, right? So that's the reason we use. I have used link crash. And one more thing the benefit of optional here. See, there are two ways. If at all, <coughs> there is no non repeat character, like all the, these are duplicates, then this line itself will not print. Or else there can be a condition like if all this is not present then return something like i can print instead of null i can print x or any default value here like d that is this is one more benefit like we can see of optional class we can avoid null pointer exception as well as we cannot execute the code if the value is not present or else we can <coughs> the value is not present we can repeat or uh, we can return our default values so this is about the finding repetitive and non-repetitive characters along with linked hash map benefits along with optional class advantage. So I hope this video helped you. Please do like, share and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And thanks for watching. I hope this video might help someone.